it's that time again and we are here for very nearly one year on house updates. I'm going to show you around the house and what we've changed up. As you might be able to tell from the weather, the drone footage that we've got of the house uh, was done back in the summer. Obviously not in the winter, but uh, we have been planning this video for several months now. Uh, so that's where that footage is from. So I'm going to show you around the house, what's changed, what still needs doing, and just a general update. Here is our front door. It's still got a gap up there. That's part of our snag. It's not straight. Does my OCD head in. As far as I'm aware, no draft is coming in, but still... Does my head in? No, I do not like the door. It is December, so this is our first Christmas in our house, and we've got ourselves a real Christmas tree. So there is our Christmas tree as we head into here, which is where you'll find our living room. Now, this couch just here is normally placed over here where the Christmas tree is, so just here. Uh, so the couches go along here like that rather than going like that but we've switched it up to accommodate the Christmas tree so it's getting light because it is a real Christmas tree. Uh, it'd be a shame not to utilise the big tall windows that we've got. Uh, we have had some problems with the blind up there um, with, with the plasterboard not holding the blind. Uh, I think we've got that sorted now though, I do hope. So... Uh, that is our TV and TV stand. We did have a problem with the first TV stand that we bought because it kept getting delivered to us damaged and they didn't want to take it back. Uh, so we had to go and take that from ours to Leeds to return that before settling on the one that we've got. And we've not had any problems with our TV stand since, which is all good. So here is our open planned living room going into the kitchen and our utility area. Uh, we did get married back in October. Uh, so over here we've got what's going to be our wedding wall. We're just waiting for all of our pictures to come back to me. So that's going to go about all on this wall over here. Uh, so hopefully when we do our next updates, that will be, that will be sorted. Uh, our cupboards over here with our Wi-Fi uh, and, and stuff in. Uh, has just been altered a couple of weeks ago so that's now sticking out like uh, it should be here um, however uh, they've moved this the base forward which is now why the doors are sticking out which is what it's meant to be like has left a little bit of a a gap right round the whole unit area there so we're going to get that sorted and it's the same uh, in this cupboard here uh, as we walk through uh, we'll go into the utility next. So we've got our washing machine and dryer stacked on top of each other as uh, they won't both fit into that gap which is extremely annoying but we've made do with what we've got. We made the construction workers, we have one, so we did originally have two of them next to each other. We made them remove this side so we could stack. So we've just got one which is where we started to put uh, some of our cleaning stuff, some of our washing and drying stuff, and also uh, some tools as well. Uh, yes, that's pretty much pretty much it in here. Now, as we come forward, next we'll head into our cupboard under the stairs, our Harry Potter cupboard. We have got some Christmas decorations up just above. Uh, this is where we've been putting our shoes coats uh, and just general storage stuff outside chairs have been put in here for the winter still got some stuff that needs to go up hoover mop spare chairs pressure washer brush and mop things like that just general stuff uh, now we're gonna head into the kitchen see what we've got so we've got our dining table which does extend, as I said it is Christmas approaching. So we've got our little pop calendar, advent calendar, a Harry Potter themed one here. Uh, we've dried up flowers from the wedding and put them in the middle of the table there along with a the smell. We've got some more decorations over here. A spare part in that box for the toilet upstairs, we'll get to that 
uh, in a moment. And sadly, that's the pot. If you watch the JSGC channel, you'll know all about my cactus in the background. Unfortunately, uh, my cactus has succumbed to the winter, so I've had to sort that out. Uh, and the uh, new cactus I'm hoping will be coming up at some point uh, in the spring. So over here, we've got our work from home desk. We've also got our picture wall, calendar and clock up there. Got the blind shut at the moment just to try and keep the sun out so it doesn't affect the lighting. Garden, nothing's changed. Just a garden. <laughs> Nothing new. Got our plants over here. That's normally in the living room by the window, but the Christmas tree's taken over that area. Uh, we've got our advent calendars and uh, this is our kitchen. We've not really done much in the kitchen either. Just managed to fill the kitchen, which is good. Uh, and we've got our appliances there. I, th I think in the grand scheme of things, uh, it just looks like it needs a good, uh, well, just needs decorating really, some fresh paint to liven the house up, get some colour on there, which we're hoping to get sorted uh, in the coming months. Uh, we've not decorated purposefully to allow the house to settle in, any cracks and things to appear so they can get sorted and once sorted, then we've got free reign to go and decorate. So I'm hoping when we do this video again next year, on my two year update, uh, things will be looking a lot smarter, is what I'm hoping for. So we're going to come back to the front of the house and we're going to go up the stairs. Um, this is where you start to, to find the little cracks that have started to appear up there. Things have just started to settle in. See more cracks just underneath as well. I think one of the biggest snags that we've had in the whole house, you can just see the marks up there. The uh, roof was letting rainwater in from the top and twice we've had people come in to get it sorted and I think second time lucky we've got it right but not before it's ran through the top of the wall, through the plaster, through the paint, down the wall as well so that's going to need to be decorated over but I'm hoping that will be sorted. Uh, we need to get hold of some ladders and get up into the loft to have a full inspection because they might say it's fine but their version of fine and my version of fine I've come to the conclusion is two different things. So firstly we've got a panel here that's waiting to go onto the toilet because we'll show you the bathroom first. We've done nothing in the bathroom. It's exactly the same as when we first moved in. Just a little bit more untidy and has our stuff in. Uh, but you'll just notice that we've got they flush off because as you can see it's not been cut properly uh, so that panel that you just saw is this panel that's been measured it's going to be cut out and this is going to be put in properly and correctly uh, then we'll get this back on without needing the use of sealant uh, we'll move this way we'll go into boiler room the boiler pretty much it Next, uh, we're going to the spare room, which is very much a spare room vibe. Uh, we did have problems with this magnetic lock here, locking. It took nearly eight, nine months to get that sorted, but we have got that sorted. It does now close and lock. Because originally when you're pulling on it, now it would just come back open because it wasn't, uh, wasn't done properly. So, yeah, we've just got some stuff here pretty much our dumping ground for Christmas stuff, stuff that needs to be put on the wall, stuff that needs to be put on show. We have got round to getting these shelving units up, uh, but we'll wait until after Christmas and everything's come down so we can move the spare stuff. I'm hoping into the loft and give us a little bit more room. Uh, we've got a spare blow up bed, which again, just a temporary thing. Um, just, need, just needs a little bit of TLC and uh, a little bit of financing on our behalf to smarten things up, which we've just been using the last year to settle in, see what works, what doesn't. And uh, imagine over the next what year or two is where the investment will come in and we'll look to try and smarten the house up a little bit. So that's the first room done. We'll go into... Light bulb illuminations, leaving the lights on. We'll go into... 
the main bedroom. So we originally had a problem here with our drawers that we bought. And our problem was that the skirting board that you can just see here when we measured it, completely forgot about the skirting board. So that extra one centimeter made a big difference when we got something that was measured up to fit in there. So it just about didn't fit. So we had to find something else. We made use, so I'll just quickly nip into the JSGC room. These are the original drawers that were meant to go in there. So they're now in here. We'll come back to the JSGC room in a minute. Um, but yeah, Sean's put all of her teddy bears and everything on there. We've got all our clothes in there. Uh, again, not not really done much. Got our super king size bed in with a, a decent little bit of room either side of the bed to get a good night's sleep. Um, we come through here, got a mirror, which we've uh, not got round to putting up properly yet, but hello. Uh, here's our wardrobe. We'll go to the next few bits of snags because we've got plenty of them. Um, so just over here is the separation board between mine and Sean's wardrobe. Right over here, you can see that there's a clear gap. So we're going to get this piece cut out. We had the guy come in last week. Going to get that sorted, I hope, this week to be cut to fit, replaced and put in. And it's only taken us one whole year for us to have a new board put on here and on the inside now. We do have a new board there as well as originally it was just showing all of the all the fittings right here that's uh, everything other than one final thing to show and so last but not least we're coming to our recognized room which is the JSGC room so first I'd like to say a big thank you to GT player for sending me this limited edition special edition Manchester City chair which I've been using on my videos and streams uh, here we've got the desk with the ring lights. Again, I'm hoping in the next year or two we'll get some lights fixed onto the end of the desks so there won't be any ring light things that you'll see in my glasses. They'll be hooked up and pointed downwards onto me. Got the TV, which is where I watch the game, which is why you always see me. I'm sat here. I have to position myself to this angle is what happens. Uh, so, yeah, we've got the TV there, sound bar, uh, the BT box hooked up for the Champions League games and things like that. Got my bonsai tree, seems to be doing all right. Done better than the cactus. Got other bits of equipment. There's stuff that needs to go on the wall. My tripod. Green screens down here. Spare boxes. Currently got the Christmas tree. With my terrible lightings, I'll show you. Literally just hooked that around. It's terrible. I'm going to turn it off because I hate it. Uh, but also uh, got my lightsaber lava lamp down there. Got my footballs just here. Sticker book just to the back that's nearly complete. We've got my one football bauble, my up bauble, my little background here. Got some baseballs from the United States, cricket ball from our vlog that we did in Nottingham, JSGC stickers, that's where the cactus used to be. We've got our fridge, scarves, picture, also the JSGC logo. What's going to go here is the 100k plaque once we get there. Got the shirts on display here, including my favourite top, my JSGC top there. We're getting a new kind of top. We've got some scarfs up to the side and uh, up here, got all kinds of little stuff. Uh, mixing memorial, a couple of drinks. We've got vodkas, rums uh, and other bits and bobs. Hit and run from my time when I was back home um with my vlogs and american football it's currently a soft toy it's going to be replaced with a real one very soon a cinch foam thumb uh, foam finger sorry from the nfl games programs from the vitality blast from the carabao cup final our hospitality experience there's all kinds of little bits of uh, memorabilia from uh, our vlogs that we've done uh, on there so a lot of thought has gone into the jsgc room by all means not complete but it's it's coming along it's coming along nicely is how i would describe our house experience at the moment but still plenty of work to do uh, so yeah that's been the house update thank you everyone for watching don't forget like and subscribe leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you all again real soon so i've been jsgc vlogs peace ciao for now <laughs>